glycine on it, which is so pretty. decided this Sunday morning I would take Chubb out and we would go on a little hike down by the lake. I've never been here before. I just thought it would just be fun to just get out and I love being by the water. Oh my god, I just almost choked my god. I just love being by the water. You're gonna be so so tired. You're so hyper right now, but you're gonna be so tired. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, there's a... Oh yeah, those are the boat docks. Over there, where those people are. Not sure you can see them. I am so jealous of anyone that lives near the lake or has like a lake view. Like, are you kidding me? Please, please, please. Send me your house right now. Wow, this is so stunning. It is just so, so pretty. You just do not get this in New Mexico. Well, you kind of do. I mean, I can't really say anything because the only, I guess, like real lake that I went to was Elephant Butte. And that was definitely like more of like a sandy lake and the water was mucky. I mean, I don't know if this water is mucky, but um, just like the sun glistening on it, just so pretty. And I just am so jealous of everyone that has this view. I, I actually saw, um, first of all, I think I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> Can I show this? Can I show other people's houses? So, as you guys can see, they have huge windows. Like, come on. That natural light, I can't even imagine. Or like mornings i actually saw some people have um kayaks in the back of their yard and so could you imagine just being bored and going into your backyard and just setting up the kayaks and going kayaking for the afternoon All right, Chubb's first time at the water. Let's see how she goes. <laughs> Are you getting, oh, you just want to drink it. No, do not drink that, do not drink. I'll give you some clean water. Is this what you want? Oh. All right, you gotta be ready. Gotta be over here. All right, ready? Sit. <laughs> Is that good? Oh, <laughs> you just got it off. Hey. <laughs> Lately, I feel like one of my life lessons that I've learned is that a lot of things are just temporary. There is always going to be change, no matter how comfortable you get, how, 
how much you love it there's just always going to be change and I don't know I like I've always acknowledged change but I think change for me has always been something good and I've just recently realized that you know during certain situations that I've been going through sometimes things end when you don't expect it things change when you think that everything's going perfectly fine you know and you're just like not in control and as much as like I want to say like I control my life you're really not and I just think going through these situations I have just learned so much about change and how precious it is to enjoy and appreciate every moment in every phase of your life okay <laughs> story time I was dating my boyfriend of three years in high school and um, obviously these things you don't you kind of take for granted because they're kind of your everyday life there's nothing special about what you're doing um you just don't really realize it like if you are a bit older and you've already graduated like college or high school um you just know that in the moment it probably seemed so stressful and so like you're just ready to move on but one day you're gonna look back and be like wow i really like wish i could go back into that phase of my life because it was just so <sighs> Like, you just didn't appreciate the small moment. So when I was dating this guy, I remember I would always be over at his house. Like, his entire family would always be there. It was just a part of my daily life. After we had broken up a couple years later, so now I'm, like, in college, we would hang out. He actually ended up moving out of his parents' house. He lives with, like, a roommate. And, um, and I don't see his, like, little sisters or brothers. And it really sucked. Like... I remember just thinking like wow like so much has changed and I almost like miss that like I personally don't miss it now but I'm saying like during that time I'm like dang like I really missed how much fun it was to like go over and like have everyone there and like go and do stuff together it was just a little little token of like appreciation that I didn't realize because it was just a part of my daily life it was just me going over to his house and having dinner with his parents and like his family that I didn't really acknowledge that it was a good time i think right now i'm just learning that everything is really temporary i always tell my friends that you know this is the time where we all don't have kids um we all make really good money you know we have the time we have the freedom we have the money like we need to start taking advantage of this because because you never know what's going to happen in the next year or the next month like they might find someone and get married like who knows where we're gonna be in a year and so it's like we have to start taking advantage of the time and the opportunities that we have now because things can change and sometimes it's not always in your control so i just think that the best way to deal with change is just to acknowledge that everything can change in like an instance you just have to enjoy it for now and i think when you enjoy it and get the most out of it when that change does happen it won't hurt you because you got the best out of that experience and i think that's the only way to look at it <laughs> i have to show you guys her she is so cute right now <laughs> she has sand out her body <laughs> Don't mind me, just a little, just a little chub dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you ready to go? You want to go to the farmer's market? I do too. They always want to pet you. They always want to pet you. They always think that you're so cute. I think walking and the grass really helped get all of your, your paws clean, didn't they, huh? Your paws are clean now. Okay. Let's head out. Just head out.